hello everybody now uh, today i will show you how you can add email sending functionality to any next.js website i will show you the super simple way of doing it and the fastest way so there are some custom solutions if you are building something huge that requires a lot of emails to pass uh, then you can custom uh, implement your own email server but for some simple solutions let's say i'm building a website they need a contact page and some people might send some inquiry emails to the owners so for these simple use cases i believe we don't need to come over complicated things so this is a perfect example uh, this is my website uh, my portfolio website where i have this contact me page where you can uh, add your name your email address and send me a message and well, let me first show you what happens so if i hit send a function is being called and if the function was successful it says your message has been sent successfully now if you go to the inbox in this case my inbox i can see that i have received a message from me and it says hello muhammad faisal you got a new message from this email and that's it so it is very important someone who is sending an email using this kind of form it's very important to collect their email address otherwise you can't get back to them right because this email was sent via the service that i'm using that service is named emailjs.com so let me show you how to integrate this so this is the website uh, emailjs uh, pretty nice and let me first show you the pricing to understand why i'm using it so if you go to the pricing page you can see that it's free for testing and 200 monthly requests so on average if your website uh, or from your website uh, on average if six people send you email daily six to seven people it will cost you nothing right and it's just nine dollars up to two thousand monthly requests so uh, in this case it's pretty simple for me not uh, 200 users are not sending me email per month unfortunately so uh, that's why i'm using this service here uh, emailjs and let me show you how to integrate it with the code uh, let after you come here and if you sign in into the emailjs you will go into this kind of dashboard right so the first thing you have to do is you have to add a new service uh, there are many gmail uh, many email provider services out there so in this case i have integrated my personal gmail and then you go to this email templates i have added a default template uh, didn't spend too much time of, uh, on it because that's not the point so in this email template several things are important to understand so these are the variables right so here you can see hello two underscore name i have added it inside two curly braces i have three variables total two two name from name and message so two name is basically my name from name is uh, whoever is sending the message if you come here you will see that you have got a new message from this email address so ideally it should have been named from email but whatever you get the point and then another variable which is this message so these are the three variables that you will need later to create the email uh, also uh, you can add auto reply you can uh, add attachments and things like that i haven't done those uh, fancy settings i uh, kept it pretty simple just to show you so these are the three variables and uh, you can edit it here you can have a playground and everything now the next step after you create your email template you will see that you will be given some variables right some uh, some service ids some template ids and things like that you have to copy those and copy into your own project then you have to install a library so if you search with images you will see this this npm package but don't install it this is not the original one just to show you so this is not the one that we want i just wanted to show you what not to do so if you go into the react implementation you will see the actual package we want is email.js slash browser uh, that is this one this email.js slash browser they have an older one which is called email.js.com so you install this email.js dash browser so if, if i come to the project what I will do is I will just add here yeah, at email.js browser. I have already done it, so I am not doing it again. Here is a simple uh, form for me, uh, pretty simple component. Here are some tailwind codes to just what you see on the screen. So uh, basically, this form components name, email, and message. 
and when you hit submit then the magic happens if you come here I have a simple function called send email and uh, here I am checking if I have the email and message or not I mean whoever is sending the email I need that and then you create this variable template parameters so these template parameters are the parameters that we discussed or showed you inside the original template in the dashboard right so this to name from name and message so these are the three variables so it's i'm sending to myself so i have just added to name as mom of person that's what you saw in this actual email and then the from name and the message those are the three variables then i am initializing email js uh, as you can see, I'm using the older library, but ideally I would be using email.js slash browser. Then I get email.js, the instance of email.js. I call this send function. And when I'm calling this send function, I am first passing the service ID, then the template ID, then the template parameters, and then the email.js user ID, right? So service ID, template ID, and user ID. So these are all the things that you can find in your account. And in, if you go into this, uh, your profile, you can see your uh, private key uh, and public key. So basically those are the user ID, email just user ID that we are talking about. And I'm, I'm not going to show that because that's secret. Uh, and uh, th that's it. This is just a simple function call. Then these are just state variables. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. So using just a function, you can send or add the email sending functionality to your website or to your client's website uh, when you are creating some simple websites simple business websites where you need simple email sending functionality you can use this library pretty helpful thank you so much for watching today and have a nice day